Main article. Galactic economy. The emperor seldom had only one of anything produced. Qwi Shush greater than the Galactic Empire had a very complex and diverse economy. Following the Clone Wars, the Empire started a process of stabilization and expansion of the economy. While the Imperial period saw some increases in state control and centralization of economic procedures, it had little effect on the galactic economy, as witnessed in the virtual non-existence of inflation. The Empire did nationalize some corporate entities, though such actions were mainly reserved for those companies that were part of or supported the Confederacy of Independent Systems, and later those who favored and aided the rebellion. The Empire did assume direct control over some of the spoils of war from the separatists, but most of the assets were given over to loyalist companies such as Kuat Driveyards, CNR Systems, Tagco, and Merson. Unless acting in opposition to its interests, the Empire largely left loyal companies alone and even expanded the corporate sector to encompass 30,000 star systems. In return for the support given to the corporate sector authority, the Empire would collect a yearly stipend of 3% of the total gross product, 9% of all material, and 20% of all strategic rare elements coming out of the corporate sector. These actions, namely allowing for transparent mercantilism to continue in the corporate sector authority without interference to allow for corporate competition, and making sure companies to some extent contribute to the greater good, were also part of the reason for economic stability. However, at least according to critics of the empire, imperial control of the economy appeared to be dramatically expanding by the rebellion era. By the time of Zero BBY, the Empire was taking over all commerce in the central systems of the galaxy, and Big Starklighter considered that the Empire would soon seize control of land and work in the outer regions, notably Tatooine reducing people to tenants slaving for the Empire. The Empire also dedicated its vast economic resources and quintillions of credits to expand the Imperial military and to fund new scientific developments in a wide variety of fields. This military buildup would eventually result in the Imperial Navy fielding millions of starships, the Imperial Army being comprised of tens of trillions of soldiers, and the creation of a vast force of stormtroopers. The imperialization of the Trade Federation by the Galactic Empire created a void filled by smugglers to address strong demand for shipping created by the Imperial controls. Smugglers flourished in the Imperial era as independent operators or as part of larger organizations like those of George Carders, Quelef Tapper, Talon Cade, or Booster Terek. After the fracturing of the Empire at the Battle of Endor, many different currencies came into existence, and exchange rates fluctuated wildly. At that time, the credit was backed by the immense wealth of the planet Muyuni Linst.